Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's begin the session then. Ah, so uh, Shreyas had asked one very nice question on Mokkato Mora Yonim in the Jinapanjara Sutta. Mokka is moksha, which is liberation. Mora is peacock. Yoni is the womb. Okay. Now, if you see the what does a peacock do? Peacock will eat, keep on eating, keep on searching for food. First thing. Second thing, it tries attracting the opposite sex. In this case, the male is having that feather, the female doesn't have the feather, that colorful feather. So the man actually is a provider, but he doesn't know that he has to stop doing that, that procreation thing. So you have to come out of that mokkayoni, that is the womb of that peacock. So, Jina Panjara is a sutta which talks about how it brings you out of the peacock kind of uh, or peacock feather which keeps on um, what we can say attracting the opposite sex and you come out of it, become Brahmacharya. So, you get into Mukha or Moksha. Okay, so that's the shortest answer or a precise answer I can give unless you have further questions on that. I do, I do. but, but um, that is not the case with just a peacock, right? Like almost every animal does that, like the main Yeah, animal. every yeah. animal does that. The most colorful of all is peacock. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So, so the most tempting. Rather. Most tempting, it right? It is, uh, it is getting tempted and it is tempting. So both it is doing both things. Okay. So there is a, there is an amount of temptation. Correct. 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 Right. And that's the reason uh, it is better to understand that. Thank you. Yes, Ariu, you have any questions relating to that? Otherwise, we can. China, China Panjara. No, 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 no. Okay. And then uh, we will go to Patit Samutpada section of uh, Bahudhatuka Sutta. So, if we understand the sight and the eye and the sound and the, uh, the ear like that, if we truly understand there's no person, it's only the ayatanas and dhatus and nothing else, then you intend to come out of it, come out of the madness. Otherwise, you get entangled with the madness. The madness is that each of the senses will call itself as I. I am seeing, I am hearing, I am tasting, I am touching, I am smelling, I am thinking. Because the I is nothing but the six senses and nothing else. So, in truly, in truth, if we say, who is I? I can be said to be Rupa the form, I can be said a feeling which is coming in the senses, I can be said the, the perception of the objects, I can be said about the sankharas, on one side is the senses and the other side is the sense objects. So there is an intention to make this meet that. And the Vinyana, the magician Vinyana here is between the Nama Rupa on one side and the Vinyana on the other side. Okay. Oh. Good morning and good afternoon. Good, good morning. So, basically, if I see what is this uh, dependent origination, what it is dependent upon? If there were no I, and if there were no sight, or if there were no consciousness, can anything be experienced? Because there is I, there is sight, and there is 
things to be cognized and hence there is an experience. If you remove either one of them, the eye or the sight, and there cannot be any experience. So, iti imasmim sati idam hoti imasa upada idam upajati iti imasmim asati idam na hoti imasa niroda idam nirujati is a paticca samutpada. Now, if you take paticca samutpanna, how it has arisen, how it has bound, that is the sight with the I, how it is bound, how it has happened, tests, condition, sankata. And it has a reason because pati icha sama utpanna. Pati is bonding, icha is wishing, let I get this, let I get the sight, let I get the sound, let I get the taste, like that. Pati icha sama equal utpanna arising. So as soon as the eye arises and the sight is there, so the consciousness will wish that, let me enjoy this. Right, I am the enjoyer. And if that sight is Sukha, Vedana, and then I the enjoyed, I am enjoying what? Sukha. If not, it is Dukkha. So basically, we are going between the Sukha on one side and the Dukkha on the other side. Trying to push the Dukkha and getting only the Sukha, which is not possible because they both are the same. So, middle path is to understand this, how it is Utpanna, how it is arisen. So, Sama Utpanna, Paticca Sama Utpanna. Then we can see I falls down because the object is moved. Right? So what happened? Khaya Dhamma. Before that, we should have looked at Anicca. The arising and passing away can be seen. Arising of the I can be seen. Arising of the object can be seen. Arising of the consciousness that can be seen. Passing away of the I can be seen. Passing of the sight can be seen. Passing away of the consciousness also can be seen. As soon as the object moves away, so the conscious experience is gone. As soon as the object is also gone, the I is also gone along with that. A new I comes when a new object comes and a new experience comes and a new sight comes, another new I will come and another new consciousness will come. So if somebody were to say that it is the same I through which I am seeing, he is in gross. Because the I, E-Y-E, not I, E-Y-E is dependent on that condition, the sight. But this consciousness is something which is uh, very fast and that's the reason it is magician. It gives a perception of Ghana as though it is solid, as though it is everlasting, Dhruva. But if you see anicchato, dukkato, gandato, sallato, like that. So if we really observe what is happening, it is basically we are not seeing anything which is lasting, even for a moment. Just like somebody goes to the river and he dips, which Goenkaji very nicely explains that. So he dips and he comes out, he thinks he is dipped in the same river, but the water above has moved away. So the next dip is in the new river, then the next dip is in the another new river, another dip in another new river. So if somebody says that I had a dip in the same river, then he is in gross. And that's the reason we call it as engrossed. Engrossed is completely lost in that grossness. So now I say I went to so and so place and I enjoyed so and so thing. But who enjoyed? I. What did it enjoy? Sight. 
what did it get an experience of eye and sight i went to hear a sound or what kind of sound did you hear sound is a sound it's just a vibration i also is getting a vibration nose is also getting a vibration the tongue is getting a vibration the body is getting a vibration and so the mind is also getting vibration that is all what is happening and hence it is arising passing away every vibration is arising and passing away and hence it is patit samutpanna i and it is sankata and hence it is patit samutpanna and since it passes away khaya dhamma vaya dhamma viraga dhamma niroda dhamma so the eye and the sight ear and the sound nose and the smell taste and the tongue and the body and the touch and the mind and the mind objects they keep on arising and passing away nothing else can be said to exist apart from this arising and passing any questions so this is anuloma this kind of seeing is anuloma and the cessation side of seeing is patiloma loma is the hair anuloma is trying to see how the hair has come go into the root of it and you find the root and then you know it is nothing there so you do patiloma where you cut off ana pana is also the same ana is taking in apana is throwing out now you see whatever is taken in is thrown out again a new thing is taken another thrown out so if i do a breath meditation what i am seeing is something is taken in something is taken out is that i no so if i do the meditation of breath you uh, which is uh, patit samat sorry this is sati patthana or anapana it's a very nice one because i am seeing the whole body is coming and being destroyed in the breath again it is coming again getting destroyed in the breath again coming again getting destroyed in the breath you can see that a whole body is arising and can be seen as arising and we can see the whole body cessation which is complete cessation the same body was never there and it will never be there in the same way if you observe my the sound which is coming through my mouth there is a vibration there is a what we can say there is some resonance because of the space it resonates the sound resonates you have no vilas saying to you it's just a sound vibrating if i stop there's another vibration and if i start that vibration recedes replaced by this vibration if i were to stop whatever vibration is happening will become audible so what happened in the ear every moment the ear is coming into consciousness because of the sound and going out of consciousness when the sound ceases it's not your ear and hence it is mara what is mara is only this i and the sight ear and the sound like that so we don't see a person there it's just mara coming in coming out yes go ahead eri yeah, yeah it's funny, funny. I, i was just thinking cuz the body makes a lot of sound right you can, you can make a this this kind of sound the down, down there sound you can clap all, all those other sounds but all the other sound we don't say someone's voice right, right. It's, it's actually from the same body, body but only the voice we say someone's voice it's because we can symbolize that voice yes and you can take it as mine and nobody asked this question as a good one when a child voice is there and becomes a teenager the voice changes so how can you say it is my son or my daughter what did he or she do to change the voice 
then to make it real we make it as a hormonal effect as soon as the adulthood comes so the hormone changes and because it changes the voice changes so we take it as a default setting so that we don't have to worry about what is happening but actually that child died with its voice changing and the same way the girl who was a girl became a matured girl means that girl is dead in that sense or that boy is dead as a teenager then if you were to say 20s is adult or 21 so then what you just putting a label but what actually is happening the teen teen 13 to 19 is dead because the facial structure the body structure what was as a teenager no longer is there as an adult so if you see many of the time lapse videos created through ai you will really see that there are many videos it's very nice one to see it's a total transformation between the age of 20 to the age of 30 and from age of 30 to the age of 40 from the age of 40 to the age of 50 and from the age of 50 to the age of 60 like that if you keep on seeing 10 10 years you can see a nice transformation happening across the body yes yeah, I, i guess if you know if you don't know this person right and then uh, you don't know his childhood when you, when you show two pictures side by side you get, you get two feelings right, right which is distinct But somehow, but somehow because, because you know this person, person and you've, and you've seen, seen this thing, thing the, the consciousness stitches, stitches and, then and then because, because the perception is the same you get the same feeling is that so no but first, first, comes the the, first comes the chitta the conscious experience so now when you see the two photographs the chitta takes over so then it goes back to its database to pick it up and when it picks up it comes with feeling and perception together so don't forget the mahavedana sutta where feeling perception and consciousness cannot be separated out samsatta does not visatta right so when i see you are you uh, let's say um this year one year passed right after you came are you the same person no are you the different person no are you the same and a different person no are you not the same and not the different person no this kind of argument is called chatushkoti where we try to make an absolute sense of it absolutely your body you are neither the same nor anything different nor in between that's what he says to the bahya na idha na hura na ubhaya mantare so what first comes one one second what first comes is the chitta so when i see you the chitta comes based upon what i have seen you in the video right but if you remember i shreyas and uh, my son we came to the airport did you find the same Just think. You said you thought I am tall, right? And then you started looking at whether I'm fat or lean or whatever, because you're trying to adjust your perception now. You so you're measuring mana. You're trying to measure. Yes, stress. He just he just say recalibration. Ah, recalibration. Sorry, you 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 wanted to ask something. Go ahead. No, no, no. I, I guess the question is, is if, if I see you, you in, the in the airport, I get, I get a, a feeling, feeling right? right? And, and I see you in a camera, camera, I get a different, different feeling. feeling. But, but because, because both symbolize, symbolize to villas, 
does, does that, that mean the feelings are somehow identical, or, or I can, can put two, two different feelings and give, give the same perception as feelings? You, you, you are trying to force fit the feeling, but that's what chitta can do. It will, it will concatenate. See, first and foremost, we will say that it's the same person. Why? You have to have ghana sanya, the perception. If the perception keeps on changing, then you can't do anything. And hence you symbolize. So that there is no change in this in the perception. So then I'll ignore the changes in your body, right? So the feeling is what? The same. It can't be anything different. Right? Just see. That's what we keep on doing. Yes. I, I, I'm a little confused because you just said it, it's the same feeling or no. Same uh, let, let me ask this simple way. Let's see. I see my child at the uh, when, when one year old picture. It's obviously different, right? But I have, but I have the feeling it's of, your my, child. Of, of, of my child. Of your and that uh, of this being, being let's, let's say, Luke, Luke right? This, this feeling, is it, is it somehow become the same feeling? I know this sun feeling would be similar, because, because this, this is my son, this is my son, and it comes to be the same feeling. And that's, you answered your own question. If there were no perception, you would not have the same feeling. Since the perception is already that it's your son, so you get the same feeling, it is my son as one year old. Okay, okay. okay. And, and the same thing about, about a person, person you know. You would yes. be, say, 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 say I see a, a Sachin at 10 year old. Initially, Initially it'll be a different feeling, as I don't know. But, but after, after someone told me this Sachin, I watched the photo sufficient enough of time, I get the same feeling as Sachin. It's not that. Why? Because the perception has been made as Ganasanya. And that's the reason we have to create anicca sanya, right? When you do an anicca sanya, then you will forget that you ever had a child. Or you ever had somebody called a Sachin. Now we can ask why. Because now this concatenation is not there. See, as long as we are concatenating, it makes it real and also it makes it stable. Because it's concatenation, right? I'm adding a one-year-old photo and over to a 30-year-old photo and I'm saying that as a one-year-old it looked like this. So what did I do? I created a perception of a one-year-old and the experience now is what? Feeling is what? Of a one-year-old, right? At that time the 30-year-old is gone. Now I say it is a 30-year-old so the one-year-old is gone, but the vinyana, what does it do? It will stitch the one year to thirty year and saying that, ha, ah, it is a one-year-old. Yes, I know that. It is a one year. He had one year, he was like this. And that's the reason Buddha calls vinyana as a magician. Maya Upamancha Vinyanam is the reason why it is called is he doesn't if there is Yonisa Manasikara. That person would have asked, hey, wait a sec, what are you showing me? You're showing me a body. Now what are you showing me here? It's again a body. You're showing this body and this body equals to same. And then it falls down. Because it's only body. Atti kayoti va panasasati pachu pattita hoti yavad Eva jnana mattaya. Now I got the wisdom. Patisati mattaya. How this sati, if it is there, pati, bond. Anisito. It didn't stay in one year old. It didn't stay in the 30 year old. It didn't stay. It didn't stick to that. What didn't stick to that? The consciousness didn't stick like a magnet glued out to the one year old. Otherwise, the moment it grasps one-year-old, there's a feeling and an experience of one-year-old. Anisitocha viharati, vihara, is to stay. He just stays. Seeing this fabrication, 
वन ईयर ओल्ड आहा फिफ्टी ईयर ओल्ड आहा एटी ईयर ओल्ड आहा हु हू एटी ईयर ओल्ड even 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 the even the what 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 do you say the the earn the 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 you will feel it in person yes yes me go ahead so i've been i've looking at my kids photo and and you know i'm so used to my kid as how they look right now and and it's funny because i look at old photos and i see myself with them and and i think I don't, I don't know. know. That that kid, kid is not, is not really mine. mine. I, I tell myself they they should be that person because obviously it's in the photos. But I guess, I guess your brain is now registering them as they are now as your kid. So um, yeah. yeah. So, so it, it, it <laughs> so it's almost like, like you're kind of stitching it, but it's almost like you're telling your brain that, that is your kid. kid. But but I I, I can't really see, see them as my kid, kid when I look at old photos. But I tell myself they are. What what is that? Is that the same thing or not really the same thing? no you you actually you're force fitting it so what you need to do is that's a reason you need to work out on the dhatus okay so now in the sati pathana like we said right so we have the breath then we have the iriya pabba four postures then we have the sampajanya pabba then we have dhatu then we sorry this uh, what is that asuba which is particular manasikara then you have this dhatu then we have charnal ground so these are the six things what we have as our tools if i force fit looking at a photograph and trying to question it or do some intellectual insight into it is not going to work because in the mind in the chitta my child is already there and there's nothing anybody can do because in the chitta it is there so to do chitta anupassana number 1 i need to take something which will show that there was no child like in the kissa gotami she came up with the child asking to the buddha please save my child he's dead people are saying he's he's dead but do something bring it back and now what did buddha say he said go and fetch some mustard seed from a house where there has been no death now you see this fun that lady it opened up to her after going houses to houses in search of mustard seed she couldn't get even a handful of mustard seed and in the evening she comes back to the buddha she says that there is i couldn't find any home where there were no death so it dawned in her that the sun is a fabrication how did it happen through charnal ground meditation and that's what she did right so we need to see something of losing and when it burns when that object is no longer there and then only you can take it so now if i see my wife and i keep on saying she is not my wife and i see my son i keep on saying she is not my son he is not my son he is not my son he is not my son i am trying to just put another few more labels on top of what is really there i know she is my wife i know he is my son so out of the six tools i need to use one of the tool which will cut the vedana feeling sukham vedana dukha vedana sukha dukha sukha vedana like that samisa sukha niramisa sukha like that all the sukhas which are indicated in the vedana no vedana anupassana i can penetrate now the feeling if the wife comes in front there is a sukha vedana if some other lady comes is there a dukha vedana now no i get more sukha vedana than the 
wife. Because in the wife case, I might get some Sukha Vedana, some Dukkha Vedana. This is a new object which is coming in. Looks, looks pretty. So I get even more Sukha Vedana. Why? Because I have not discerned the Vedana. I have not penetrated into the Vedana. Now if I can penetrate into the Rupa or the Kaya and then into the Vedana, then I can see the Chitta is arising. Because Chitta is arising, it arises with the Sukha and the Dukkha and all that. If the Chittas were not to arise, they are the question of experiencing Sukha and Dukkha. So may to answer to your question, if you keep on looking at their photograph and imagining they are not your children, it's not going to work. No, no, no. So what I what I mean is, no, no. Question is different. Question is different. What she's saying is, she's not recognizing that five-year-old child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not recognizing the younger photos. It's my childhood. So answer to that is sign and feature. Even even roses equal with your husband right now. If if he's coming in front of you, you are, you are recognizing him by sign and feature. So, so we always need some sign and feature to recognize a person, and, and that you lost. So, so what what is the sign and feature you took was in, in that photo you are there, so that kid is your. If, if that kid's photo is independently given. Arise into your newspaper, probably you will not recognize him him as your kid. Same, same photo. Cut, cut and paste and then comes into front front page of the newspaper as, as an inside advertise. You won't, you won't even recognize it is his your child. Why? Why? Because you lost that sign and feature of the kid. Yeah, if you are not identifying your children at the young age. If you are doing that, it's very good. So your perception, if it reduces, that is sanya vedit niroda. So if there is no sanya perception. You are not created a symbol. There is no vedana at all. That's the most peaceful state to be in. Thank you. Yeah, you 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 then practice it accordingly. So you take your children photos. Don't make it as your children. Any child at that age is the same. So you should cut out your self from the photo. Okay. You you, you should you you should first cut off yourself and then you cut off yourself. Then you see photo as a photo. A child as a child. If you were to call, it's not your child. It's just a child. Any child will look the same. In that age. Unless you and, and that is yes and, and that is the right uh, approach to see Anicca because you can can exactly see once upon a time it was your, your child yes now, now it is not so, so that child has arisen and passed away yes now if you take the photograph or anybody's photograph and you can see that the body arose and body fell. You have got nothing to do with that. It's a peaceful state. Because what is arising is the body, and what is passing away is also the body. You have got nothing to do with it. So, ahara samudayo, rupa samudayo. Because of the ahara food, the rupa is coming. Ahara nirodo, rupa nirodo. So, as soon as the food is gone, the food, the body is also gone. And that is happening all the time. Three times meals, two times meal, whatever it is. Ahara samudayo, rupa samudayo. The rupa is transforming due to food. Don't take it as yours or mine or whatever. Everybody is eating the same food. Same. If you can do that, you are in the state of an anagami and closer to the arhat. Because now you see all the five. Aggregates, like I said, I, E Y E, I can only survive if there were sight. If there were nothing to be seen, there's no I. Because the consciousness adds A plus B, I and the sight, it itself experiences seeing. 
Okay, so like ear and the sound, which we spoke about. So now we have seen the dependent origination. What is dependent on what? I is dependent on the sight. Without the I, the sight is of no use. Without the sight, I is of no, no use. So if you remove the sight and the I equation in the consciousness, the Indriya somewhere has happened. Now what has happened? It's called Jitta Indriya. That means that, that Indriya, I, not the physical I, the Hadayavattu I, which is vibrating, stops. And when it stops, what happens? It's peace. Because that movement is the one which was creating all the noise. <clears throat> like a some engine, somebody forgot to switch it off. It's making some rude noises. Now you find out, let me switch this guy off. So there are six sides to that engine. So you understood how to switch it off. There was no way you can switch it off because that switch was inside that six senses or six things. So you put your uh, finger, found it, switch off. That's it. And that is death for the senses and death less for you. Right? That's the meaning of deathless. The sense are dead because you switched it off. Now you can switch it on at your wish. Now I, I want, I can switch on, have fun. Now I know how to switch it off. Switch on, switch off, switch on, switch off. Whenever you switch off, it is Nibbana. Six senses are switched off. So Nibbana is experienced. Because it's unconditioned. It's conditioned by what? Eye and sight, ear and sound, like that. So the Patit Samutpada is seen. Any, any questions? So can I, can I then proceed further? Okay. So now he says another important thing. Atthanametam anavakaso yam ditti sampanno puggalo kanchi sankharam nichato upagacheya netam tanam vijjati pajanati. So he asked this question, Ananda asked this question. Thana athana kusalo bhikkhu alam vachaniya. What is called as skilled or what is called as uh, thana, which can happen, a thana, which cannot happen. So what is possible, what is impossible. So he says, athana metam anavakaso yam ditti sampanno. One who has understood the ditti, the what should be understood? Puggalo kanchi sankharam nichato. That means he doesn't take any sankhara as nicha. But for an ordinary person, sankharam nichato upagacheya. This is possible. So for an Arya Puggala, that is not possible. For a normal person, this is po po possible. And Sankhara cannot be treated as Sukha. Whereas uh, for a normal person, Sankhara is Sukha. Dhammam for Dhamma, he cannot take it as myself. 
స్థానమీతం అదవకాశో యం దిట్టి సంపన్నో పుగ్గలో కంచి ధమ్మం అత్తతో ఉపగచ్చేయ నీతం స్థానం విద్యతి పజానాతి హీ డజన్ టేక్ అ థింగ్ యాజ్ హిమ్ సెల్ఫ్ బికాస్ అ థింగ్ ఈజ్ మేడ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ సిక్స్ సెన్సెస్ బట్ ఫర్ అ నార్మల్ పర్సన్ దట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ద కేస్ అండ్ దెన్ అత్నమీతం అనవకాశో యం దిట్టి సంపన్నో పుగ్గలో మాతారం జీవిత వరూప్పేయ నీతం స్థానం విద్యతి పజానాతి హీ నోస్ దాట్ దట్ మీన్స్ ఆర్య పుగ్గల నోస్ దాట్ హీ కెన్ నెవర్ కిల్ అ మదర్ బట్ ఫర్ అ నార్మల్ పర్సన్ హీ కెన్ కిల్ అ మదర్ సేమ్ థింగ్ హీ విల్ విత్ అ ఫాదర్ and he can even kill a buddha and uh, a arya puggala know that he cannot injure the tathagata but for a normal person it is possible and for a arya he will not create any schism in the sangha whereas for a normal person it is natural for him to do so and uh, it's impossible that they know they have understood the buddha dhamma sangha so they cannot accept any other teacher but for a normal person he can go with many teachers then he will also see that in the whole of the universe there cannot be two samma sambuddha arising at the same time and it is only possible to have only one they also understand through their own experience that it's impossible for chakkavatti to arise that is two chakkavattis cannot be there at the same time okay but it is possible to have only one and they also see that itti female can never be samma sambuddha and they will also see only the purisa can be and samma sambuddha doesn't mean that arhat cannot happen the woman or man it is a samma sambuddha is not possible they also see that the chakkavatti is never a female but it they also see that the chakravarti is always a male and they also understand that the sakka mara and brahma are only male they cannot be having any female form so they also understand that kaya ducharita will create all kind of pains in their lives and kaya sucharita sorry kaya kaya dujucharita will bring in pain and kaya sucharita meaning if somebody is having a good nature in kaya vachi and mano then they will not suffer so they cannot expect any bad thing to arise if they are having good and good thing to arise if they are doing anything bad so it's impossible for a bad conduct person to be born in a good place or in a heavenly realm but they see that a person who has done good deeds cannot enter into bad existence and when somebody does the kaya sucharita that is good deeds can ever enter into a hell realm or a lower realm whereas a person who is engaged in the kaya ducharita will be in that so now with this he knows what is possible and what is impossible and what is possible is always possible and what is impossible is always impossible a possibility can never become impossible and an impossible can never become possible because they both possible and impossible 
surpasses the Pati Samutpada itself. And that's the reason he knows Thana Athana. Thana is to establish, Athana is not to establish. So he has understood that what will be and what will not be. It's not by theory, it's by his own experience. He has seen that this is the case. So you surpass the Pati Samutpada, you are done. That's the circle of life. So what is sansara is twelve links. That's it. We are done with Bahudatuka. Yes. Yeah, yeah I have several, several questions, uh, primarily, primarily two. Uh, so so the Buddha said, said uh, Arya, Arya can never kill, kill a father or mother. mother. Does that, that is, is it right, right to, to induce from, from this statement, statement that it's possible for them, for them to kill, kill other live, live human, human beings? Highest sin is killing or torturing or doing something with your own father and mother. It even injuring. It need not be killing. Verbal injury, mental injury, all kind of injuries, taking things which are not theirs is ducharita. Now the highest is to kill because now you want that person to die so that you can take whatever he is not giving. So, an Arya knows the danger. Where what will happen? What will happen if I kill my own father and mother? What is going to happen? It is called Anantariya Papa Kamma. Or Anantariya. Antara, space. Anantara, no space. So, Ito Chuta Tato Utpanna. You take this point. Ito Chuta Tato Utpanna. That is, as soon as the chuti happens here, tato utpanna, he lands there. It lands there. The consciousness lands there. Where would it land? It lands in the hell. Even though he has done all good deeds. So, all of that, schism in the sangha to everything, is related to that. That it cuts the good deeds and brings the bad deed instantaneously, the fruit of the bad deeds in instantaneously. So now you are to answer to your question straight, does that mean I can kill anyone? Yes, the highest is that. Right, if I take that view, let's like say I am a non-vegetarian person, am I not killing? I am killing. I am eating meat every day. Fair. I am not killing. I am just going to the supermarket and buying the meat. Fair. I can't stop eating because from the, from the beginning I am eating meat. Okay. But it is not Anantariya Papakamma. It is still Papakamma. But now my Vipaka fruits might not happen because of the Sucharita. So the Ducharita will not come. As long as the Sucharita is there, the Ducharita will not come. As long as the Ducharita is there, Sucharita will not come. Yes? Yes, Sachin? No, 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 no I was thinking that the case of Angulima is just the case of Mangula. It is the best case to understand that. Correct. Because Angulima is just kicking a thousand people in this life. And uh, the Mangula has almost killed. Or let them kill his parents in the previous life. And then both are permanent. So, for the is, in this life, would he be permanent? Angulimala killing his parents, would he be permanent? Angulimala killing his parents, and that is exactly what he wanted to do by killing his mother for getting the finger. So yeah, yeah. He, and, and that's why Buddha stopped him because if he would have done that, he would have, he would have gone into the hell realm. Yes. 
Yeah. yeah. At that time, there was no opportunity for Buddha to ordain me. If he would have killed right now. Exactly. But we can ask a counter question. Now, Anantarya Papa Kamma is as soon as you kill Ito Chutta Tato Utpadna. So then Mughalana should have finished his hell existence, right? Why yeah, again exactly. he has to be tortured in the end? Right? Still, Still residuals, residuals are yeah. in parentheses. And yes. At, at, at the workshop, not... at the moon, you will be there. Yes. So that is what we can conclude and stop there because then it becomes. Uh, really what a muddled up thing because we can't really say after killing his parents or rather he allowed them to die he didn't kill he made them to be hit badly and they died yeah. so, so thousand people killing was okay for Buddha to ordain that guy but, but few minutes later he would have killed his mother or, or Cut, cut the finger of his mother wouldn't, wouldn't have been okay for Buddha. That's why Buddha interfered there. Yes, that is true. That is true. So, if we take it at a face value, exactly at the face value, and we say what is thana athana, what will get established and what will not get established, what is possible, what is impossible, then there is no problem. But if we try using some logic to that especially killing mother, father, arhat, injuring, all that, whatever is written there. It might look strange, see, like in, in all our cases, we have not even seen a Buddha at this point in time. So we are not going to kill anyone. And we are not taking a gun all the time and trying to shoot one or the other person, right? So that also we are not doing. See, five things shouldn't be done for being a Sotapanna. What are those? Killing your own father, killing your mother, killing your teacher, injuring a Buddha, creating a schism in the Sangha, five things. So I'm a Sotapanna. With these five things, I'm a Sotapanna, over. Because in Buddha time, it was like this. But now which idiot will go with a gun and trying to find out, hey, you are in Arhat, you tell me, I'm going to kill you, and then shoot him down, right? And then uh, people are so divided now, who cares about parents, so who cares about anyone, right? Parents stay themselves at their home, children stay themselves at their home. So once in a while you meet the parent, or you meet or you don't meet, doesn't matter. And the parents might go into the old age homes or whatever it is. So gone are the days when the children used to take care of their parents and there used to be dispute of property. Now it's very rare. So does that mean all of them are now liberated then? At least we can conclude that everyone is a Sotapanna. And that means the whole population now is a Sotapanna because I don't think so, except for a few mad people, uh, many people wouldn't even care about like, you know, people who have stayed abroad like in US or Canada or in Australia or New Zealand or whatever country. Their parents are staying in their own countries. And who cares? Once in a year I might just as a you know a courtesy I might go and meet my mother or father or whatever and come back for two weeks. And that's it. Why would why on earth would I plan to kill my mother or father or whatever. Makes, makes no sense. So, what do we do then? Thana, thana. And that's the reason I told you it's very deep and very, it will, you, you can think like this. Why can't a woman become a Sama Sambuddha? Then uh, uh, Buddha is a racist or a, Actually, he didn't uh, wanted the females to become Sammasam Buddha. How can he say like that? Now, what to answer? We can only say it is there in the Sutta. How, what is the guarantee the Sutta is correct? Somebody would have added. So, this 
12 things about thana thana is very difficult to understand and even agree see what it says one who is doing sucharita will never get bad things now i am getting bad thing you mean to say i was a bad person and like the politicians right they do all bad things but they are enjoying their life you mean to say they are getting all good things now right then we say in the past which past no previous lives who knows who cares now if i take that view the thana thana becomes very difficult to accept because all of them can be proved wrong and that becomes part of mithya ditti wrong view so it so basically is like creating absolutes again if yes. if we look at from a from a cross point of view yes that's right okay so we have two more minutes left yes sir you go ahead i mean, I mean this is we have two minutes the the the, the sakka and brahma, brahma these the, the devata don't have sex right they don't, they don't have, have sex or, or they do so, so why, why would he say they, they can only be a purisa good question okay purisa itti okay is a, a very nice um, pali word and also if you look at the indian system it is pura means place or a city and also the indweller it's in sanskrit called purusha one who recites then you might ask then itti doesn't recite right so there is a word called as pumsa one which can produce okay that is always a male the reproduction that is to give a life is male it can never be a female it can never happen that in any species the female will produce it can never happen it becomes a womb for existence but can it produce yes yes sachin i think the word is you you become deva you become brahma from the um, the birth of human only you, can, you cannot become brahma from deva right no, no. So, so from human you are promoted to deva or brahma so so a woman in human body will, will not be promoted to deva or sorry promoted to brahma that's that's what it means it is not that after after brahma he will, he will no more remain woman that is true but but in this life a human body woman will, will not promoted to brahma not probably it is not possible because you require that that's what it, that's what it means after becoming brahma she is no more woman that, that is true but, but uh, not not possible that's what they are saying yes so that is not at all possible no female can be a deity or a deva at all not at all possible but, but if they work hard they can go beyond her and can they become they yeah they become her in his body his body why why be with the womb if they can work, work very hard and to be an arhat to con- to to complete the journey is possible but to become a deva to become a indra to become a brahma it's not possible so no the arhat arhat is itself about brahma and deva that is correct no any female can end the journey which is arhat but can that female be established as a deva or a brahma or a indra that is not possible the deva is possible right deva as what as the as a kamaloka deva Yeah, yeah, Kamaloka Deva, Apsara. Apsara, that's all. 
Yes, sir. yeah, very good. Yeah. Okay, okay, so, so only Kamaloka. Kam- Kam- what, what if they, if they develop jhana? And then and they would be in the jhana loka. Go and ask the Buddha. Well, well, he only okay. says Saka. You know, know. Well, Brahma, Brahma is, is not the highest. The... What is the highest of the Deva world? They, they, they can enter. enter. There is no problem. In jhana, they, they enter into that place. Entering is not a problem. But they, after death, they, they will not go there. Oh. Are you? Are you? What is the highest in a deva realm? Brahma. No. Sakka. Sakka is, is, is only in a deva realm. Oh, no, what a... is the highest in deva realm? What is the highest? The, the Lord of deva realm. The Lord. Is Sakka, Indra, is the highest. That's the highest. You, you can't go beyond that. There's nothing like yeah. going beyond that. So, so, so it makes sense for a woman not to become the, 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 the highest of Deva Ram, but... Uh, no, 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 I think you did not understand what I am trying to say. Let's say, Ari, you, you work out and your wife also works out together, <laughs> right? Or me and my wife, we work out. Now, can my wife be established as a Sak? Saka is a king, which is understandably not able to be established because he said... No, the, you are again missing the point. The highest of a human life is a king, Chakravati. That's the highest. You have to go by the highest. And hence Buddha doesn't explain every realm. What's the highest in a human realm? Chakravati. Monarch. Yes. What is the highest in the in the Deva realm? Sakka. Sak. What is the highest in the Brahma realm? Mahabrahma is the highest. Right? So there is great Brahma which is Mahabrahma. Nobody can surpass Mahabrahma. After Mahabrahma comes the four Arupajanas. And that's it. So you are taken what? Highest of a human realm is Chakravati, and in Chakravati, woman cannot become a Chakravati, gone. Then you have taken the highest of the Deva realm, which is Sakka or Indra, and no woman can become an Indra, gone. Then highest of a Brahma realm is a Mahabrahma or the entire Brahma realm, so the no female can become a Brahma, fine, and Samma Sambuddha. Not possible. Yes, go ahead. So, so it is one thing that a woman cannot become a Sakka, but, it, but it's a different thing that a woman cannot become any Devata at all. Again, I don't know why you are getting confused. Any Deva can happen by any female. That's okay. Not an issue. Oh, oh okay. So that's fine. Okay. Okay. So the, you are saying they cannot become any Deva. That's what I heard. So you, I got you, you better first go to the Deva realm and you, you can yourself see it whether who it can happen, who cannot happen. Right? See, when we say Deva Realm, Deva Realm, Kama, Kama Devas. Kama Devas. What happens? There are male and female in Kama Deva. Mm, but they are, they are called, called Devata. Devata. You usually not distinguish that, yeah. that is correct. But that's not the highest realm. Devi, Devi is the word for woman. Devi is the word, not Deva. Right? Devi. So now, these Devas and Devis are there in where? In the Kama Loka. See, you mm. first read the Aganya Sutta. When the sexes happen, it happens in the Kama Loka. Now that is... The when and when the 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 it keeps on coming down and into the human realm. So what you are trying to do is to go back. So only one who is Purusa can do that, nor a iti or stri in Sanskrit or in Hindi, it is stri, yeah. not possible. Once a female and that's it, it's gone. They have to put more effort to get out, so the only thing they can do is to become an arhat. So they can become an anagami, fine. All of that is achieved, but what he's saying is different. Thana, establishment. Can it get established? Can a female get established here? No. 
yeah she is she is becoming an arahat she is she has ended her journey yeah fine that we don't stop in fact in the buddha sasana there are so many bhikkhunis who have become arahats that is not saying he is saying can this be possible can a female become a monarch for the devas when she can even not become a monarch in a human realm forget the deva realm Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yes. he, yeah, raise a hand. My wife is almost jumping. In, in, but in, in saying, saying that a woman can, can pass on from this life and then be a male or a male, or a male deva or whatever in the next life, right? Yeah, that is all possible. That, that's all possible, yeah. So it's, it's just that, what, was it, is it a chitta, no gender or whatever, <laughs> no gender. So, but in, in, that, in that life, when you're, let's say, a deva or a... You know, you know, whatever, you just can't be those supreme lords and leaders as, as a female in those roles. <laughs> That's all. Yes. Chitta has, no, Chitta has no gender, but Gandhava has gender. It, 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 it Indri is there in Gandhava. And Gandhava is there in Chitta, Chakaya and other things. It's Nama Rupa. Some, some physicality is there in Gandhava. Okay, so just to give right, a thanks. nice... Yes, go ahead. Yes, sorry, somebody wanted to ask. Yes, sir. You want to? No, no, no. I was just quick. In this Deva and Devi, they have set. They have different sex, but they, they don't. They don't. They don't enjoy. enjoy it. No, they, they don't enjoy, enjoy the bodies. That is true. But, but yeah. they enjoy. It. <laughs> okay. Now let us understand this. Gandha. And male. And, and male. It's it's not easy to be transformed from male to female so easily. It takes many many births. He takes yeah, seven yeah. seven stages. In fact, me, uh, if you have seen, I, I, it's not good to record it on the video. So I will, uh, if we are done, then we can stop it, and I can tell you how you can see it, how the male gender becomes the female of uh, male uh, reproductive organ becomes a female reproductive organ, even from medical standpoint. It takes you can really see that that entire transformation. So, since it is not good to publish on the web, uh, it is not. I don't want to take up that, but there is a way of seeing it, and you, you can really see how the transformation itself has happened right now, as we speak. Okay, now coming to the aspect of Gandhava, what Sachin is saying. Yes, it's very right. In the Karachakaya, which is the solid food, the Chitta Jakaya, which is the Chitta, has no gender. The Utujakaya is the environment and then the, the Kamajakaya. So the gender happens, Itti Indriya, Purisa Indriya happens because of the Kamma. Okay. So the Gandhava is created, that is when, I, when we say Manu Mayakaya, is, Manu is mind, mentally created body if you give food to that body, it becomes like what we are all sitting. But inside that, the Kamma decides whether it should be a male or a female. So now the Utu, the environment is getting created. So whatever environment that Gandhava has to have. So where it has to be born and how it will be and what it will be is provided and that is in English we can say nature, in Sanskrit we can call it a prakriti. Okay. Say so, Mula Bhuta Prakriti. Mula is root. Bhuta is the five Bhuta, Pancha Bhuta. And Prakriti is the nature. So the Utu will provide the nature, the fertile ground for it for the Kama to get established. Now, when it get established, it requires another two, which is the chitta and the food. So, depending upon what kind it has to become, the food is provided. So, in the case of the deva and the brahma and all that, they have a different food. Even though it is the same food, but that food is, this is gross food and that is subtle food. And Gandhava has smell as a food. That's it. So the gender is within that Gandhava. Now, 
when it turns into dev or now i come as sak or indra the birth is opapattika instantaneous no need for an womb existence now what happens can it be a female if that is a question why can't it be a female the indriya which is there is itti indriya it has limitations purisa indriya has no limitation now we can ask how ask a woman to produce babies right now as we speak let any woman produce a baby or any animal female animal let it produce no it requires a male why that even in electrical circuits you need to have a female and you need to have a male for the female we call it as a socket and for a male we call it as a plug only when the plug and the socket are joined energy moves then why can't the socket only do it not possible it's not possible and what is not possible is not possible and that's the reason he say athana it's impossible now why chakravarti again same answer the for producing something you require a male all production is through male female cannot produce female can only sustain they cannot produce they don't have the ability to produce anything does that mean they are not intelligent people they are does that mean they can't liberate they can but we are not talking about whether they are intelligent or unintelligent they are this or they are that its question is what can they become chakravarti and the answer is no but a female can be born as a male that is possible a male can be born as a female that is also possible but the transitory point or a junction point is a human being so once you turn yourself into a female you have to endure many lives before it changes back to male and once you are a male it would again take many lives for it to be transformed into a female because it's a indriya it's a person there so you have to change the from a socket to a plug and a plug to socket is not going to happen tomorrow yes both both both, both, both indriya are simultaneously coexist and then uh Person, in the human right? body yes true and that's so, so so it's, it's the strength, strength of the relative strength, strength of which which, which, which takes is, which is make, decided by what by the kamma kamma yeah so and then, and then that, he is doing a kamma of a female in the male body he will it will ultimately transform itself into a female if somebody is doing a kamma in the female body becoming creating environment for a male the utu the environment once properly established turns itself into a male that is possible yes and, and, and with, with all these out gpt things, things it makes it fairly clear that after transition that's a transition <laughs> okay shall we end for today <laughs>